Salman, uh, for the athletes. So the most important thing is to, to think about your performance, uh, to not think about anything else, to not think about the audience. You just have to know that you worked hard, that you reached to this level, and you have to just have the confidence and believe uh, yourself, believe in yourself and do your job, because that's the most important uh, for each other. What an introduction from the ring speaker. The philosophy of Lamu Shon Grace, don't limit yourself. And she certainly doesn't do that. Hikaru from Japan. You're seeing the difference in the catters being announced, Onsu and Apuren. Now on the edge of the tatami, your style is Shotokan. Uh, what do you feel about the performance that we are uh, about to see? Uh, I think now, it's, uh, in my point of view, it will be a great uh, final because both uh, of the athletes uh, they are uh, a strong athletes. They have uh, a great result uh, recently. Uh, Grace Lau from Hong Kong, she's the uh, Olympic Games bronze medalist. Uh, she's doing Unshu, and uh, Unshu is like the Unshu we have in, uh, in Shotokan, but it's the, the other style. So uh, I think it will be interested, uh, interesting, sorry. And uh, yeah, we're going to enjoy this final. We are indeed. And in fact, it is a rerun of the final that was in the Karate One Premier League in Rabat. Exactly. So on this occasion, on that occasion, the win went to Ono. Let's see today. Will the table turn? Maybe. Maybe. We see a new winner. Lamu Young Grace. Onshu. Talk us through the kata. Salman, what's going on? How did she feel? What are those stances like? I, uh, I can uh, say, like, uh, Grace is one of the athletes that uh, is always working so hard uh, for any tournament, for any goal she, she has in her mind. So always when you see her doing a kata, like, uh, it's always uh, a high-level kata, speed, uh, strength, balance, everything is so good. So, as she's doing uh, Unshu now, it's uh, uh, not easy kata. The level of this kata is a high level. That's why she's doing it in the final. So, so far, uh, it's great. What makes her choose this kata in this contest? Well, it depends on the, maybe on the opponent. Some athletes, they, uh, every, different, uh, every single athlete has their own strategy. Uh, strategy. Some athletes uh, have one strategy and they don't change it. Uh, they always choose the, car, the same katas in all the rounds and the middle bouts. And some athletes uh, choose some katas just for the middle, uh, middle matches. So it depends. Of course, you have to study your opponent first. You, you know that you are uh, uh, facing who in the final or on the bronze medal match. So all these things matter. It's a great deal to consider then, isn't it? Yeah.
That concludes the performance of the Kata from Lao Mu Xiong Grace of Hong Kong, China. And it is just down to the judges to decide what those scores are. Now, the world, the grand winner of the Karate One Championships, the world champion and the Olympic champion, Sandra Sanchez, has retired from competition. So that's left this female Kata division wide open, isn't it, Salman? Uh, exactly, because uh, Sandra Sanchez was... Uh, something uh, i think uh, phenomenal like uh, no one else uh, was like santa santa sanchez a great athlete a great spirit uh, always in the trainings like uh, now of course the opportunity is uh, is big for the other athletes to like who gonna lead the female kata uh, individual and that's a good thing for the for the athletes and could it be a good thing for Uno Hikaru because she's one of the front runners, certainly been challenging. She's a phenomenal individual, been a world silver medalist. She was a world silver medalist against Sandra Sanchez. And she will certainly be looking to continue with that winning streak. different kata isn't it? This one in Papu Ren, slow movements, fast movements. Yeah, exactly. We can see uh, like even the rhythm of the kata of Papu Ren is uh, much different than the rhythm that uh, the other kata that uh, Grace Lab from Hong Kong did. So these things are uh, important also for the referees to, to see the difference between the two katas. And uh, based on these things, that uh, referee can, uh, referees can uh, give their own decision. And what are the judges looking for in their um, assessment of the kata? Uh, well, From a technical point of view, the technical point. One of the most important thing is the is the. Uh, conformance, uh, you know, you have the most important thing is you have to follow your style. Uh, for example, if you are a Shotokan athlete, you have to do the Kibadatsi. As a Kibadatsi, you cannot open the legs and make it wide like a Shikudatsi. These are uh, one of the most important things that uh, you have to follow. And you talk about Kibadatsi and Shikudatsi. That's the shape of the feet position in the straddle stop. Uh, exactly. Also, for example, for the Hikite, for the hands, like for the Shitorio, you have to make it up put it up and for the Shitokan it's a bit down uh, on the belt so uh, you have to follow your style exactly and, and if people are not familiar with Japanese terminology for karate the hikate is the pullback or the backhand position or the back or the way you recoil after the technique yeah the hikate is when you do your uh, your punch or your kakuzuki is the other hand when it goes back this is the hikate An important balance point. And I know that you've told me before your favorite kata is Gankaku, and that's all about balance as well, isn't it? Yeah. So balance is uh, is important in the kata. So in Gankaku, it's something different because it's all about uh, like the second half of the kata. You you, you just perform the kata with almost one leg. Uh, but also in this kata, for example, in Papuan. There are some uh, techniques and movements that you have to stand on only one leg or the turns, the 360 turns or 180 degrees. This all, like the most important thing on them is the, is the balance.